I'm sitting in a room. It's an elegant room. It's been carefully and thoughtfully crafted. The walls are decorated with prints and ceramics. The cases are full of deliberately chosen objects. I'm sitting in a room. It's a print room. The Haggerty Museum of Art at Marquette University invited the Chipstone Foundation to curate an exhibition related to the theme of consumerism, the desire to acquire more and more things. We decided to organize an exhibition on transfer print ceramics. In the 18th and 19th centuries, creative entrepreneurs developed new ways to decorate ceramics with printed images, allowing for an infinite array of ornamental possibilities. Over time, these wares became increasingly inexpensive, allowing more and more consumers to purchase decorated pitchers, platters, and plates. The story of transfer print ceramics is certainly driven by the desire to consume. And it also links to histories of technology and histories of print culture. And yet, our curatorial team felt there was something more. An additional story we wanted to consider. We wondered, what did it feel like to suddenly have images? Images of political figures you might want to endorse, images of celebrities, images of places near and far, images related to social commentary or issues that were important to you decorating the objects that you used every day. We wanted our visitors to consider how this mode of consuming and presenting media differed from our own digital world. And at the same time, we wanted our visitors to make connections, visual connections, between past and present, to understand how many of the themes addressed in these objects in fact, were as relevant today in the 21st century as they were more than two centuries ago. We wanted to do all these things, but we weren't quite sure we could do them all in a white cube gallery. And so we decided to create a print room. We worked with Milwaukee-based designer and artist Brent Budsberg to transform a white-walled gallery into a space modeled on 18th century British print rooms. Rooms in elite homes in which walls were collaged with carefully selected prints, often augmented with specially created paper frames, swags, and ornaments. Print rooms were unified interiors that converted spaces into walk-in scrapbooks. These decorative projects emphasized the importance of printed matter to the social, aesthetic, and intellectual worlds of their creators. The chosen prints could reflect interests developed through travel to faraway places on the Grand Tour, political alliances or social connections, and individual passions. The print room transports you to a time in which printed materials were not artifacts of a pre-digital age, but were the latest new media. It invites you to imagine a world in which widely available printed material is relatively new. One in which transferring an image onto a dish is a true innovation. The desire to understand ourselves and our world through images is a deep and perhaps timeless human desire. One that is just as relevant today as it was two centuries ago.